Hi, I'm Jenna. I'm the training coordinator here at Blue Marble 2 Graphics. And I'm Mariah. Jenna has been sharing her insights on drone flights and data processing. So check out our series, What It Takes to Fly a Drone on YouTube. In our last video, we imported the drone data and ground control into Global Mapper. And today we'll be processing that data. For sure. So we have our drone collected images already loaded and the ground control points as well. First thing we're going to do is launch pixels to points here from the toolbar. And you'll notice we have two options. We could use the wizard to guide us through um, what settings we might want for particular outputs before we proceed to the main window. But I'm gonna jump right to the main window where we'll be able to do things like tag all of our ground control points. All right, so first thing that we need to do is bring in our images, which we have previously loaded as picture points. Global Mapper reads the uh, EXIF data of each of these images and brings that in. In the case that a particular camera isn't recognized, you have the option to input the camera parameters and be able to use those images here as well. Okay, so we can see a preview of each of our images here in the image preview. Uh, the first thing that we would like to do is tag all of our ground control. So we're going to use this option here, ground control points. Now, since we had already loaded our ground control points, we can load them from a point layer. So here we have the option to individually tag ground control points in each of the images, but the easier option is to define the target in a particular image and have Global Mapper search for that target in all of the suspected overlapping images. So I would just use this option here to define the target and click and drag to identify that target. Then I can Click the option here to have Global Mapper search for the, all of the targets. After that, I would just simply uh, confirm the target placement here. If you need to uh, step away, you can always save your progress here in the option to save a P2P workspace file. I've actually already saved one, so I'm going to load uh, a file that's already been set up. All right, so here you can see what it looks like if we've uh, confirmed the ground control point placement uh, aligning with each of our targets in each of these images. And we've done that for each of the ground control points. So next we would just define which outputs we would like to get from pixels to points. We can get a point cloud, uh, an ortho image, and or a 3D mesh model. So here we have the option of where we'd like to save those and a few other uh, processing options, such as the ability to orthorectify each image individually if desired. There are a few other options we can use here. I'm gonna accept the defaults, which work in most situations, um, but in certain situations, these can help. Uh, if Global Mapper notices that your particular machine is going to run out of memory, it will prompt you with an option to reduce the image size here. Uh, I'm going to also just double check. I'm going to use the incremental uh, method here for this imagery, though the global analysis method can work better in some situations, such as uh, with oblique imagery or high overlap. And once I have everything all set up, I will click Run to process the data. I'm going to now open the results of that since that process can take a couple minutes on uh, your machine. So here we have our three outputs. I'll turn off the imagery and uh, the image points here. And you'll see we have a generated ortho image of the area along with uh, a couple other 
uh, 3D options. We have our 3D mesh here, and we can pop open our 3D viewer to get a look at how that looks. And then finally, our generated point cloud. All right, so that's a quick tour of how to use pixels to points to process your drone collected imagery to create an ortho image or 3D point cloud and model. If you have further questions, be sure to check out our website where you can find our knowledge base. That's on bluemarblegeo.com. Thanks for watching.